Caitlin, thanks for joining us. And before we get into golf, I want to say congratulations. The last thing you posted on Twitter recently was that you just became engaged. How did it go? Tell me he proposed at least on a golf course. <laughs> Hi, thanks for having me. Yes, um, my uh, well, my now fiance proposed to me on the golf course um, at Barton Creek Resort. He tricked me um, by saying uh, we were going to go celebrate his birthday early and go get a nice dinner. And then he ended up proposing. So it was a really sweet surprise. That's great news. And on the course, great news as well as you get ready for the postseason. Now you have the regionals coming up next week and you're in the Louisville regional. How challenging is that going to be? Um, I think we're all excited as a team uh, to head to Louisville. We leave on Saturday. Um, we've never seen the course before, but um, I know we're looking forward to competing against some really great teams and uh, making a good showing. Where do you feel your game is at right now? It feels pretty good. Um, I've been working really hard this past month, especially uh, I had COVID about five weeks ago. So I took some time off from that and I've been working really hard to get my game back and just keep improving. So I'm happy with where it's at right now. Yeah, you know, you bring that up and I know it must have been devastating because you were getting ready to head to Augusta for the National Women's Amateur. And then right before you announced you have COVID, uh, how tough was that emotionally, physically, everything? Um, it was a definitely hard pill to swallow. Um, me and my teammates coming down with COVID was disappointing, but I mean, everything happens for a reason and uh, we know that we'll only come back stronger from this or from that. Um, so yeah, I think we all took it with a good attitude and we we're just ready to move on from it. You know, before that, going back to December, you finished top 10 at the U.S. Women's Open, a great finish. They were tough conditions, muddy conditions, but you said afterwards that you learned never to complain about anything, never to complain about the conditions, not to allow those negative thoughts in. Where did you learn that from? Um, I've honestly been kind of raised that way, just not to complain about um, anything that's difficult, uh, whether it's on the golf course or just in life in general. So I feel like especially in environments like the US Open, where it's just a marathon that week and with tough conditions with the rain and the cold and the wind, that uh, staying patient and not complaining about anything that was difficult was key. Easier said than done, but you seem to have mastered it. You know, you're a senior and you hold a program record for career stroke average. How does it feel to know that long after you've moved on from Texas, your name is going to be etched in the record books for quite some time? Uh, it's a great feeling. Um, I've had a great career at Texas and I hope that inspires others who come up and join the program to, you know, play just as well and have also a great career at Texas and I feel like it's been a great opportunity for me this past four years so to be surrounded by great teammates who have really pushed me uh, to get better and better every day. You recently got accepted into grad school for sports management. What lies ahead in your future? Um, so I started my sport management master's program this semester. Um, about to finish my third class and uh, even though I'm moving on from the golf team after this season, uh, I will definitely uh, finish that degree um, on my own. Uh, luckily, the program's online, and I think it would really serve me well in the future because, I mean, no one can play golf forever. <laughs> so I think it'd be a nice thing to have in my back pocket. Well, we hope you're at least playing for a long time. Thanks so much for joining us. Caitlin, congratulations and good luck next week. Thank you. I appreciate it.